This video will show you how to find scholarly articles in a psychology database for your assignments. Start at the MSVU Library homepage. The link to this can be located on the top menu of any page on the MSVU website. You can perform a basic search using the Novanet search box on the homepage, but to find the most relevant results, you will want to navigate to the Psychology LibGuide. Select Guides A to Z to get started, then locate the guide for psychology. The most popular subject databases will be listed right at the top of the guide. For this demonstration, I will be using PsycInfo. PsycInfo includes scholarly journal articles, book chapters, books, and dissertations. It is the largest resource devoted to peer-reviewed literature, which is dedicated to behavioral science and mental health. If you're off campus, you will be prompted to log into the database. You can use the same credentials here as you would for your Moodle or your MSVU email account. For this example, the topic I am researching is anxiety disorder in university students. If you were doing a Google search for information on this subject, you would simply type this whole phrase into the search bar, then press search. As you can see, I don't get a lot of relevant results this way, as searching databases is different than using a search engine. For the best results, I will want to break my topic down into different search terms. In the first box, I will use the term students. In the second one, I'll use anxiety disorder. This brings back better results. If I want to further refine this list, I could go back and add in a third search term, like university. For now, I will use the list I have. Let's look at how we can narrow down the articles in this list to find the best ones for my topic. Many professors will request that you use only scholarly, peer-reviewed journals. If you check the peer-reviewed scholarly journals option on the left-hand side, all other types of results like magazine articles and newspapers will be removed from the list. Depending on how many results you have left, you may also want to try other ways of refining your search. You can use the sliders under publication date to see only the most recent articles. Here I've selected the last 10 years. You can also use the subject filters to see only results specifically related to that topic. If you want to return to the full set of results, just click on the X and that filter will be removed. Clicking on any title in the results list will bring you to the record where you can see more information about that article. There are a few ways you can quickly decide whether or not the article is relevant to your research. Reading the abstract will give you a short summary of the article. If it seems good, check the subject terms as well. These can be used to search for other relevant results. If a full text version of the journal article is available, a link will show on the left hand side of the record. Just click on this link to see the full article. Here, you may also print, save, or email the article to yourself to use it later. If you don't see a link to the full text article, click on the check for full text link. This looks at other parts of our library collection for that specific article. If it is found, you will be able to click on a link to the journal. You may have to navigate to the right issue to get the full text version of your article. If the article is not available, you may want to try another result on your list. You can also request articles that are not found in the Mount Library to be delivered from another university library by email using a document delivery request. To do this, you will need the 14-digit barcode on your Mount ID and your password, which is usually the last four digits of your phone number. It can take a few days for the article to be delivered, so it's a good idea to be prepared and start your research early. Finally, when you have found enough relevant articles, you will want to cite them properly in your assignment and create a proper reference list. The psychology department uses APA as their reference style. Each article record will also have an option to create a citation. Scroll down to where you see the APA citation. The Mount Library also has a comprehensive APA libguide which includes videos and examples. Thanks for watching this introduction to finding journal articles using PsycInfo. If you need more help, feel free to contact the library.